taking some time to remove two of the old capacitors that were mounted right in this area as you can see with the uh, cutaway just to make room or provide access I should say to the uh, fasteners for the uh, power transformer at this location this location let me uh, go ahead and do some desoldering get these fasteners loose and get the power transformer out so I can do a better job of cleaning the uh, chassis up in that area. By the way, we were looking at the uh, power resistor early on, I think in the intro video, and I see that the other end is tied back down to the uh, candome resistor that's uh, buried underneath the uh, antenna coil. So it must be open, or one section, I should say, of the can dome is open. Thus, the uh, reason that this uh, resistor was placed up here just dangling in the air. Check out the uh, center tap location, just floating in uh, free air, free space. No uh, tape or anything over the top of it. It's been spliced. There's another conductor. You can see just below that, it's been spliced as well, covered with some type of tape. Let me look at this and uh, just see where it connects, make sure that the uh, connection point was uh, accurate. I had to go back and reference the schematic. I think everything is tied in correctly. This goes back to the uh, on top ECAP. Um, one of the negative sections, again, not tied into the other uh, two capacitors that are in there. So I think there's a total of three in that can. And the other lead comes back over to the uh, 43 resistor at this point. So that tie-in location is accurate. I'll have to address the uh, E-caps anyway, so I'm going to just go ahead and cut this lead at this point. Hey guys, I finally made sense of the uh, E-cap that resides on top in the can. It's uh, three sections, three 8 microfarad uh, capacitors are called out. If you look at the uh, schematic uh, diagram, it's a little confusing, starting with C23. The positive side of uh, C23 goes back to the 6 delta 6 to pin number 3, which is the screen grid. The negative side of that goes to uh, chassis ground. If you move up to C24 and C25, they're actually tied together on the positive side. So again, that would provide uh, 16 microfarads of capacitance back at the uh, filament location, pin one of the uh, type 80 tube. Going back to uh, C24, the ground side or the minus lead for that particular section or capacitor goes to chassis ground. And then the other lead of C25 for the most negative part of that capacitor is attached to the uh, center tap location. So uh, somewhat confusing, but uh, that's the way I'll wire things back. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the old E-cap and then decide if I'm going to restuff it or uh, build a new can. More to come on that uh, down the road. You can see the uh, transformer wires uh, come out at two different points. The wires back here I've already got disconnected for the high voltage side, the 5 volt filament for the uh, rectifier. And then this uh, exit location here is the uh, primary and the 6.3 volt winding. Interesting, a uh, piece of bare copper. Maybe you'll be able to see that right here from the transformer. Ties back over to uh, pin number one of the 42, one of the filaments. Again, used as the uh, ground, that is the chassis for this particular receiver. Um, the other side goes back over to the 6 delta 6, 
pin number six. That's our 6.3 volt winding. And of course, we've got the uh, primary winding that goes back to the uh, terminal strip here, attaches directly to the uh, line cord. And the other side goes back over to the uh, switch itself, which then routes back through the old line cord here. Pulling the transformers out at times can lead to uh, new problems, but um, I'm glad I did. A lot of these wires are uh, dry rotted, so uh, actually I see some uh, breaks in the insulation at a few different points and maybe where some repairs have been made. Somebody looked like they slipped some heat shrink over a couple of the windings. Of course, that could be back from the factory too. So I'll take time to uh, try to clean up the lead dress when I get to that point. Good look at the uh, transformer. You can see the uh, crap coming out of it. We'll test it again too just to make certain. There's a lot of iron in this uh, transformer. It's a heavy little sucker for sure. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to take a closer look at the uh, chassis. This thing's light as a feather now. And there's all my fasteners falling out. Let me do a double check on this uh, transformer. You can see that uh, we've got a little runoff or some drip coming from inside. So hopefully this thing is not overheated. And even though I did some DC resistance checks only, that it's uh, defective. We'll have to uh, put it on some line voltage later on and uh, do some checks even before I uh, take the time to clean the uh, housing up. And this area really cleaned up much better than I had anticipated. Still a lot of tedious cleaning around the uh, capacitors. I may even take those loose. Who knows, and of course the old uh, E-cap mounted on top will come out. Still got to do the sides, the front, the rear. Thanks for watching.